Well, hi everybody. You know, from the suggestions from you, the viewers, and my own curiosity, I've decided to get the WL Toys V931 Eurocopter. Albeit, I don't really have a whole lot of love for three-bladed anything. <laughs> well, the reason being, three or more blades are great and necessary for heavy lift machines. But for speed and less power robbing, I still prefer the fly barless uh, one or two blades. You know, they're just much faster and they use less power, and I've proven in many of my single-bladed videos, including the single-bladed quadcopters, gas helicopters, small helicopters, tail rotor blades, and hyperflies, that, uh, that it worked. You see, back in the full-size pylon racing days, many pilots flew single-bladed props, and they proved they use less power and produce less turbulence than the two-bladed props, and that's why I decided to do all these tests. Also, I've got other three-bladed machines, and all seem to have wind up with a broken servo when I crash land. The fly barless machines do not typically break servos when you crash unless it's three-bladed. Anyway, the comparisons between the V933 is that it's brushed and it runs out of poop only in a couple of minutes, where the 977 is more powerful with the brushed motor. Both are fly barless, which means the pitch is computer controlled to change the angle of the blades exactly at the right time to control the bird. And being fly barless, there's also reduced drag and power. Well, I really guess the main reason I bought this is because it's pretty. You know, being a line of sight flyer for over 60 years, I just love watching my planes fly. You know, it's like a private air show for me. Uh, so if you have a helicopter that looks like a scale helicopter, it also makes it easier for the old eyes to see that to boot. You know, alas though, when they say it can fly 3D, you know what that means. <laughs> yep, you just gotta try it. And you know what happens when you try it. So let's give it a look and see what it can really fly like. And yes, I'm tempted to try a little 3D, so let's see how it goes. You know, when you add blades, this being the two bladed one that I just did, you add another blade, this requires more power to run and creates more turbulence for each blade. The thing is, if you added, keep adding blades, pretty soon this would be filled completely up. It would look like this. There wouldn't be any wind. And the thing is, when you're flying in the wind with multiple rotor blades, yeah, you have power, but you have incredible lift. So in other words, when a little wing gets under, it's like a frisbee. It's, even if you're hovering, you're trying to maintain your hover. That little bit of wing gets under there, and it just picks that right up. And so you got a lot of up and down unless it's calm. And when you're upside down, I always tell everybody, you know, you have to keep pointing in the direction that you're going. You have to do that with your mind. Pretend you're in it. When you're upside down, here's the differences. Okay, your fore and aft uh, cyclic will still make it through this. When you're hovering, hovering to flying up or down or whether you're forward or backward. Left and right remains the same whether you're upside down or not. The tail rotor is backwards. Don't watch the tail. Watch the nose. That's where the stick goes, that's where it goes. And your throttle is backwards, up and down. So off is actually on, because it's always on. You can see the size here. Well, before I show you how this little baby really flies, I'm going to tell you about my two pet peeves, and that is the startup and the battery life. 
Well, this brushless motor needs to be coaxed to start almost every time that it really spins. It also shuts down if it stalls or crashes, or in many cases just while trying to get it to spin up. I like it so much I actually ordered a separate blue one for different company just to see if it does the same thing. Both the V977 and 931 use the same transmitter, so I'm using my modified one and I'm comfortable with it, and that's why I was able to order just a helicopter from someone else. Well, the motor could use two more windings and poles to cover the added drag from the three-bladed head and it would start up. Loosening the blades help, but then pitch changes happen during power fluctuations and I don't like that. And the battery life in all my flights was no more than 2 minutes and 55 seconds. It would be well to set a timer so that you won't find yourself out of power as I did many times. And for a beginner it would probably be out of power by the time you ever get it figured out what you're doing. My Nitroplanes version, the entire kit, came with two 500 milliamp batteries and spare parts. Not many batteries any bigger are going to fit so you're going to be limited. I would buy extra batteries if you want to play with it for a while. But be advised, the speed controller gets very warm during this flight time. very long and that does not surprise me.
out of battery. <laughs> you bleach, there's a lot more power, like I said. 